Hello everyone, this is Ben Dunn, founder of Antarctic Press, a comic book publishing company. Founded in 1985, uh, creator of such comics as Ninja High School, Warrior Nun, uh, Bikini Sentai G-Rangers, and Tomorrow Girl, among, as well as the Marvel Mangaverse, among the other things. Um, well, today is supposed to be the day of the big eclipse, a full eclipse! Not seen since for over like 135 years or so. That's a long time. I mean, shoot, it's 2024, so it'd be 1924. We take away 100 years and then take another 35 years. Um, so it'd be like 18 something. I've always been bad at math, which is ironic because everyone thinks that uh, Asians are good at math. When <laughs> I tell you, I'll go against the stereotype because I am very, 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 very bad at math, you know. So, uh, you know, my father always used to say, though, that, um, you know, nature will take its course. And I says, well, Dad, you know, I was little. I said, Dad, what, is, what do you mean by that? He says, well, you know, when uh, you let things play out as they should in nature, nature will always self-correct itself, you know. And I... Uh, kind of wondered about that saying in in terms of what does that exactly mean you know overall well what i've come to the conclusion is that uh there are things in nature that are uh, immutable that can't be you know can't be changed you can you can want it to change you can want to uh grasp your own reality of things but in the end nature is self-correcting you know and that goes with uh, our, you know, our lives, how we treat people, and uh, business as usual. You know, I've been hearing a lot of people, you know, especially YouTubers, complaining about uh, the wokeness, quote unquote, wokeness of, you know, the various, uh, especially Disney, various entertainment companies, especially Disney. Now, you know, I don't understand this, to be honest. You know, Disney is a business that can run its business the way, you know, it feels fit. And they feel that this is what people want, you know, or what they want. Then who am I to stop them? You know, let them do it. You know, I don't I don't care. You know, if, if I don't like the subject matter, I don't like the story. I just I won't go. I won't watch it. Simple as that. You know, don't need to complain about it. You know, what good does that do anyway? You know, if you're hoping to force some sort of change, going to change, you know, well, good luck with that. You know, the only change, like I said before, is, you know, financial. You can hurt them financially, then they'll pay attention. Otherwise, they don't give a rip. They don't give a rip about your opinion. They don't care about your, 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 you know, they don't care about what you feel is wrong with them, you know, because they'll, you know, that's their business. And that's the thing is you should, we should all just mind our own business. You know, it, it's one of those things where you just have to decide for yourself that is it worth getting involved? Is it worth alienating, you know, potential, you know, allies? You know, it'd be one thing if, uh, you know, you could say to them, you know, saying, hey, look, I don't really care much for what you're doing, but, you know, you're free to do whatever you want. But, you know, I'll tell you what, I'm just not going to uh, support it. Simple as that, you know. So, uh, so, but now I feel like nature is self-correcting. You know, things have gotten to the point where apparently, and I'm not, I can't say this for sure, I don't have any I'm not an insider or behind the scenes, but I can only just see what uh, people have been telling me or what I've read. Is that uh, it's possible it's even be self-correcting. It's you know it's course correcting. You know that once you've been into some sort of uh, you know some sort of struggle with your we realize that uh, things are not going the way you want it to go, then it's time to change. You know, trying to to uh, to make some sort of a correction to what you're doing. You know, um, you know, it's just that there's reality and there's perceived reality. You know, the thing about it is that you may want or wish things to be 
the way you want them to be, but it's not necessarily the way reality wants it to be, you know. And sooner or later, people are going to pick up on that fact, you know. And like I said, actions have consequences, so you just got to realize that uh, what you do will affect others, will affect yourself. You know, you, you have to you have to decide that this is something that, uh, um, you know, whether or not this is the right thing to do, you know, based on what you're feeling. You know, you know, actions based on emotion can sometimes, can oftentimes lead to negative results, you know, because you're not thinking the things. You know, when, I, when my wife and I have a problem, you know, or we have some sort of big decision to make, we do what is called pros and cons. You know, we sit down, we talk about it, we think about, you know, uh, what the pros are and what the cons are. You know, we, and then we decide that does the pros outweigh the cons or the cons outweigh the pros? You know, sometimes you have to make decisions when you have no choice and you have to make the decision, you know, based on what is the best way to combat this problem in the least painful way possible. You know, and you, you, sometimes you'll find out, oftentimes you'll find out that you'll find a solution for something that uh, you didn't realize uh, before, you know. And it's great to get people to, you know, get their feedback on things like that. So I just wanted to, to say that overall, you know, I would not worry about what's going on in the comic book and inter entertainment industry. Because, you know, quite frankly, it doesn't bother me. It's not my business. It's never been my business. My business is Antarctic Press. My business is helping my fellow creators who work for us. You know, my business is to create, to work on my own projects, you know, to get them to come out, to make money on what I'm creating so that I can continue to support myself and to create more projects. You know, that's really what it comes down to why we do anything, to be honest. You know, that's, you know, I just, that's, that's just, that's the whole point. You know, if we didn't need all this, then we might as well just go back to a caveman days and just, you know, hunt and live and survive, you know, but we don't, we don't live, we live in a modern society with a lot of conveniences, you know, a lot of technological changes and it's coming, you know, you have to accept the reality of things. You know, the, the sooner you set the reality of things, I think the better off you'll be. You know, you have to, you know, there's an old saying that, uh, you know, my dad used to say is that, you know, control the things you can control, ignore the things you can't. You know, so that's, you know, little, little bits of wisdom from ancient wisdom. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, uh, this has been done. Hoping that you have a good eclipse day. And, uh, hope, and hopefully we'll get all get superpowers and we'll live in a much more interesting society if that were to happen. So, until next time, this has been done. Signing off.